Well, welcome back to the channel and as you can tell by the video title I have bought another set of Newman SLA30 Evolution wheels. These wheels are an upgrade from my girlfriend's Orange Stage 5. You can see me build that bike in my other videos on the channel. The Newmans are a direct replacement for these wheels her existing Shimano MT500s. Firstly we need to get this Magic Mary tyre off the Shimano rim. I release the air and then remove the valve core to make this job much easier. Squeezing the tyre off the edges of the rim and into the centre helps when prying the tyre off over the rim. Getting tyres on and off rims used to be much harder, but using the tyre glider makes this so much simpler and reduces the chances of damaging them. I put a link in the description so you know where to buy this ingenious tool. Now it's worth saying that there's nothing wrong with these Shimano wheels. They're absolutely fine. It's just the Newman ones are much better. They're lighter, wider and stronger. Now with the tyre removed, I can recover the old sealant. Waste not, want not. Cleaning out the old sealant from inside the tyre also allows me to check for thorns or, or anything that might have pierced through the rubber. I'm going to reuse this tyre so it's good to check this now. Cleaning up the rim now is a good idea because I'm not sure if or when I'll be using it again. I don't want old sealant drying and crusting up on them. I remove the centre lock rotor and set it aside as I'll be reusing this on the new wheel. The Shimano MT500 wheels are a good balance between weight and durability. While they may not be as lightweight as some of the high end racing wheels, they are well designed to withstand the rigours of cross country mountain biking. I personally prefer to use the Schrader type tubeless valves on my wheels. This particular set are made by Newtrack. I put a link in the description. The eagle eyed amongst you might have spotted my first set of Newman Evos on my main bike, my full suspension carbon cube stereo race edition. These wheels are great value for money and they're designed for durability, lightweight and performance. The Newmans feature a wide 30mm profile which provides excellent support for wider tyres and enhances traction and control. The straight through spoke design and traditional weave provides optimal strength and weight distribution and the high quality spokes are crucial for maintaining wheel integrity while maximising performance. A comparison of wheel weight shows that while the Shimano MT500 only weighs 993 grams, the Newman Evolution comes in nearly 150 grams lighter at 854 grams. I bought the wheels used from eBay and the original rim tape really needs replacing. The tape had been on here for a while and the adhesive had separated from the tape in places. I used some white spirit to remove this old adhesive and clean up the rim. Fitting the new track Schrader tubeless valve meant I had to increase the size of the valve hole in the rim.
The existing valve holes are pre-drilled to accept Prestor style valves. Using a 7.5mm drill bit and a round file, I am able to increase the size of the hole to accept a Schrader type valve without compromising the integrity of the rim strength. As so little material gets removed during this process, it makes very little difference. When fitting rim tape, I like to start at the opposite side of the valve and complete just over two and a quarter full wraps of the entire rim. When fitting the valve into the rim, I find that there is no need to use any tools to tighten the threaded ring that holds the valve in place. Hand tight is good enough. The Schwalbe Magic Mary is a popular mountain bike tyre known for its outstanding traction and versatility across a wide range of terrains. The tyre features an aggressive and well spaced tread pattern with large blocky knobs. This design provides excellent grip on a variety of surfaces including loose dirt, mud, rocks and roots. There is a reason why it is a firm favourite amongst many riders and why it has been my go to tyre on lots of my bikes. Fitting tyres using the tyre glider is so much easier than using tyre levers.
Tapping the tire on the bench in this way helps to push the bead of the tire out towards the edge of the rim and makes inflation so much easier. The first inflation of the tire helps to seat the bead of the tire onto the rim. Stan's tyre sealant has proven its worth to me over the hundreds of hours of riding I've used it for. I've pulled toothpick sized thorns out of my tyres in the past and been amazed at how well this stuff works. Injecting it into the tyre through the valve I've found is the cleanest way to get this job done. I usually put around 100 millilitres in each tyre and then fit the valve core back in afterwards. Reinflating the tyre after injecting the sealant is now a simple task. I like to run pressures around 30 to 35 psi. One final step that I like to add to a newly fitted tyre is to run a bead of tube sealant around the edge of the rim between the tyre wall and the inside of the rim. The tight proximity of the two faces draws the fluid in and when it dries it helps to keep the tyres firmly in place. The last thing to do now is to fit the rotor and bask in the glory of a perfect front wheel arrangement. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already.